Hey guys, I'm back in my room right now, and just like the previous clip, this involves some hardware on the PC. So, like said, like previously, guys, if you guys do like um, hardware vlogs like this one, stay tuned. But other than that, you can pretty much um, check out my other content on my other channels. So, yeah, I yeah, I'm real sure I'm gonna put the links in the um, description. So, yeah, guys. But other than that. Enjoy the video. What's up, guys? It's your boy Zee Alpha here, and today, guys, this Mountain Dew is pretty freaking good. Even though that's not um, a, even though that's not part of um today's video. Today, I got my SSD right here. I have used this solid state drive before. And I am sorry to be the bearer of bad news. This laptop right there, yeah, it's somehow gone wasted. So what can I do? I have not one, but two extra hard drives I could use. But this hard, this SSD on the laptop, it's preoccupied right now. Because it has important data on there that needs to boot. So, I'm going to go ahead and use this SSD and put it on my main PC. But how can I do this? Well, usually there is some things called SATA ports. There's only three. One is being used by my optical drive. The other is being used by my four terabyte hard drive. And the third one is being used by the boot SSD, which it has a terabyte of storage on there. And you're probably telling me, well, Z, you are crazy of adding two SSDs inside one computer. And there's like three SATA ports already been taken up. That is correct, because the other SATA port has been soldered off the motherboard completely. So, as you guys would probably see, like, right here, this is a read card I have been I'm collecting. And this has been pretty useful, because this card right here has been, would pretty much get me out of a couple of um, gems. Pretty much. So then, yeah. As obvious, I'm going to go ahead and use this card to put some extra games on. And we're going to call this the, the game drive. Even though I would technically have two game drives because I, I have the solid state drive as the boot drive. Which, tech, on a technicality, I would use that hard drive, but what else am I going to be using on my primary SSD? Whereas where you could use this, right? So, it's obvious out of this point that this hard drive, yeah, this hard drive right here has some data copied from that 4 terabyte hard drive. That's in that that's in the computer right now. Also known as the big behemoth, as I would go ahead and um so if I'm gonna proclaim myself. Telling me everything right here that this bar this black bar of soap can pretty much um hold up like five hundred gigabytes of data, as you guys can see right here. Samsung does make some pretty good products, like example TVs, refrigerators anything that you can ask for by samsung samsung is a great company and 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 not only that my old phone is made by samsung too that's if i can find it in this some drawer of doohickeys doodads and sigma jigs Nope. It'll take a lot of poking around. But then, yeah. 
Uh oh, which one's my Hiron's boot USB? Ah, it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, usually I use this, but like I said, laptop out of mission. I might have to start taking things out. All right, we gotta put this aside. this is this a that looks like a core 2 um duo in there yeah is that a hold on i can barely even see this this is a uh e a E eight six E eighty six hundred clocking at two a clocking at three point three three gigahertz. This is this is pretty damn fast. Let me know if you guys would want me to use this processor in my main PC. Something for a vlog as I would say. Yeah, I really have no idea. Where my phone, my other phone went. Maybe I'm just placing somewhere. I have nothing. I have zero idea. But hey, if it pretty much comes up, I'll let you know. Cause that phone I used to have. If you guys uh, are, if you guys saw my previous ch um, channel, which. The a majority of the content I post was on that channel. And yeah, that's the only phone I kept on using because it had some decent quality. And my current iPhone's camera has better quality. Better quality, good frame rate too, for vlogging purposes only. So yeah, and, and then I thought to myself, why the hell not? And why the hell not with this? Use this uh, RAID card here to um, go ahead and um, put in this SSD. Instead of using this. Because while using this, this SSD decides to croak. So we're going to go ahead and put this... Well... Well... Let's think about this. Currently have a SD card right there that is preoccupied with um, the Xbox game um, captures I have. Move my controller. And if I go ahead and use this extra hard drive yet again, can this pretty much do indeed work? And you can see my face off of the um, glossy paint okay um as you guys can um, pretty much tell i got my hair cut while i was at my mom's so yeah by the way i don't know if i'm gonna i really don't know if i'm gonna go ahead and upload the uh some other rec hall content with my friends because yeah ever since the air hockey table incident yeah that has been very very screwy so for right now i'm just gonna go ahead and um use use this um loki tactic just um chilling up here and um yeah and also, I'm making something for my gaming channel. So, yeah, it's in the card right now. Go check it out. So, yeet. Before right now, I'm just going to go ahead and wait until everything is um, complete. I'm going to update my computer while I shut it down. So, yeah, that'll be um, pretty much it. While I go ahead and... Uh, see what i got for uh optional food 
because uh, I got some food in there. Not only I got all all of that, but my mom, on God, supplied me them today. More Mountain Dew, more Mountain Dew, Sauna G Fuel, water, even a can of cheese or crackers, chocolate milk, and even more Mountain Dew. Holy crap. Huh. Thomas is actually, Tom actually um, texted me. Well, I'll be actually heading there right about now, just to tell him. All right. And just to give you guys like a bit of an idea of what kind of haircut I got. Yeah, um, my one um, friend's um, dad actually call this like a broccoli cut, so. <laughs> yeah. The menu. Today is uh, April 30th. Chicken pot pie. People discriminate in chicken pot pie a lot. Which, that is okay. Because I got something to uh, show you. Because this is what I got. Look at that. Ritz crackers, fudge rounds, Pringles, which these are pretty good. That times, by the way. What is this? Uh, Cosmic brownies? What's this? Zebra cakes? I'm stacked. Which, thanks to my mom, by the way. The Dollar General is actually pretty cheap. Because... I actually got in those shit ton of do, which like I said, whole lot. Got water for backup just because I like to keep shit clean like that. But then you would know Mountain Dew. This tastes like pineapples, by the way. If you, if you guys uh, haven't tried this summer before, trust me, you'll you'll like it by the time you like pineapples. But, but not pineapples and pizza. I boycott pineapple on pizza. And I think that's a fucking controversial ass thing right there. I mean, it's only my opinion, by the way. I'm just like living under my own democracy because this is the land of um, democracy after all in America. So, yeah, um, well, what am I going to do with this? I'm just going to go ahead and just lay on top. Oh yeah, and by the way, Xbox Live Gold in 12 months. I'll probably do a um, giveaway. I have no idea. No idea. But then, uh, yeah, this will be my first. I'll probably have to censor that. <laughs> All right. This is probably going to be my first ever, um, ever, um, giveaway. Oh, nothing else in there. Okay. Yeah, I got two codes here. I'll, uh, probably, I'm going to be, I'm doing a, 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 um, giveaway. I'll only be giving, I'll only be giving out the, uh, Game Pass Ultimate for a, a month. So if you guys have Xbox and um, yeah, I would like it said, if you guys have Xbox, um, comment down hashtag I'm a giveaway in the comments. And uh, I'll probably um, broadcast the um, giveaway on YouTube. Not the gold code though, cause I do indeed want to go the gold code right here, even though it hasn't been scratched yet, which yeah, of course, it's a physical bot card right here. So, yeah, I've been I've been planning to use this on, on the console. Which, to be honest, however, this is an old code. This is sacred to a point, guys, that. I really don't know if Microsoft is ever going to accept this. But then, hey, I might as well just try it out on, the, on a live stream, too. So, just to point that one out, guys. 
Anyways, um, I'm gonna wait until the video is uploaded. So I can do some updates and power off my computer, which I hope so it won't take long after the upload. So, yeah guys. All right, um, dinner, dinner was not that bad. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm gonna put in the raid card now. So, let's go ahead and shut this down. Let it do its updates first and foremost. It'll restart first, which that is a smart thing to do. Oh yeah, that was odd. Uh, I think I told it to restart rather than just shut down. Like that's what I chose right there. That's what I chose. That's what I chose. I have no idea why, but I did it. What the fuck? All right, and the computer's finally off. Let's go ahead and unplug. You might have to set the camera down somewhere. Use my other camera. Maybe. There's a Logitech um, logo right on the computer, which ironically, um, oh shit. <laughs> ironically, I have these beautiful headphones. All right. I'm like, effing man. All this effort just to, uh, all this effort just to like, we'll put in a uh, rigged rate card. Okay, these headphones got me. Got, I got black headphones and they're crippled, man. Oh my God. Okay. Cracking open the PC. Oof. This is my main rig right here, guys. And yeah, it is a larger, larger model compared to my mom's Optiplex 380. This is the OG size right here. And as you can number pretty much tell, yeah, that's my GT1030. Just just hidden inside. Capable for a lot of game. Cause you know. Like I will go ahead and go over the uh specs on my computer, like my currently core two Alma Duo, eight gigs of RAM. And of course the um, GT ten thirty. Nothing too important like right about now. If you guys want me to, I'm going to put in a Xeon inside this computer, which I'm pretty much tempting to. Let me let me know in the comments, because I would do that. But then for right now, where the hell is that raid card? Oh, I said it like right here. Right now, I'm going to go and put this card in, in the computer. After I polish up the camera, because it is kind of fuzzy. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I turn up my mouse. Save battery. Yeah, this is thumbtack here. It's good. It's good enough for uh, popping out the SIM card. So, yeah. Anywho, we're going to go ahead and set this camera down somewhere, hoping that we have a good enough angle to capture. Oh God, the camera fell again. Not my iPhone camera, but. My actual camcorder that I use for a uh, webcam sometimes. Yeah, that keeps on falling. So, as you can see, this RAID card is going to sit right underneath the GT1030. Sorry that my arms and knee way because I don't I really don't like doing this I'm left-handed which I'll give it a try by the way kind of boring 
since uh, nothing's really going on. Oh, it's going in. Is it? Is it going in? Ah, oh, shit. Ah, damn it. Yeah, it's very loose. Still loose. It's not even in all the way. Damn it. Damn it, man. Oh, that was it. Nope. That was not it. I gotta sit down. Where's my chair? <sighs> yeah. You can uh, sort of see right there. It ain't in all the way. Like, sort of, sort of. But then it's a vlog channel. Gotta have some IRL going on. <sighs> Shit. Well, I thought I had this, uh, I thought I had this card on this slot before, and it worked. Yeah, um, I don't know. I might have to try the, I might have to try the other slot. Like, right up here. Like, I really don't know. Like, I really don't know if this is gonna work. Oh! Ah, shit. Oh! It's going in. Oh, uh, it's sort of in. Yeah, that's sort of in. Hold on, guys, I gotta push it, sort of. Ah, there we go. Now she's in. There we go. Alright, where's the SAD? So, pretty much, guys, we're gonna have one SSD probably sit on top of another. But then, and it probably, it's probably not going to be the case. Because, look at this. We got a SATA power arm connector right up here. And what I'm going to pretty much I'm gonna do is sacrifice this other SATA power connect. Well, SATA data. It's only a uh, 4 SATA 3.0. We are going to... I might as well just go ahead and remove this. First off, that's off the SSD. Remove this guy. Two. Okay. And we're going to put this on the RAID card. And um, have the other SSD. Have its only taste. Of SATA 3 awesomeness. Unless if I turn it around. Which you guys can't see because this requires both hands. Which uh, I'll go ahead and uh, set the camera back down and actually show you uh, how it's done. And it depends if I have enough room. Oh, yeah, you guys can see perfectly. Just like that. Wasn't that satisfying, ladies and gentlemen? All right. Um, where is that other? Oh yeah. This old cable. Yeah, this cable is gonna be um, plugged into the optical drive. All right. So. Take a look here, I'm gonna I'm pretty quick. This motherboard is supposed to have four SATA ports. One of them is soldered off. So, in order to utilize all the um, SATA power arm connectors, we're gonna, I had to, I'm gonna put in this hunk of thing because of a good reason. And my only question, can it reach? And my answer is yes. We're going to do some cable management. 
right through here. Even though I um, did some better cable management just like this. Just, oh, I had to shove some shit right here. And uh, yeah, I'm just checking on a couple of strings here. Cause uh, I really don't want to throw this PC away. Trying to plug in this other ADA connector. Right, back on the board. Cause that's the boot SSD. Ain't this nice. We're gonna have a PC with two SSDs. Even though I kind of had that before with this laptop, which sadly had the brick. Kind of bricked the BIOS. I don't know how, but I was configuring it, like tweaking it too much, and then, and then all of a sudden, it just broke. So, plan B. Or wait, I can put the SSD right up here. And I put the SATA power on. If I can, that is. Hold on, where the, where the hell is my camera? All right, now it's sat up a bit more perfect. Now I can use both hands while the camera's pointing at it. Just to show you how it's done. And I'm um, pretty quick here. Just gotta go ahead and um, put in the old hunked, um, say the cable from the, op from the optical drive to the other SATA port on the SATA bus. Uh, this slack. This is an old slack compared to the others. Which, to be quite frank, I have no idea how this is going to go in. First, I thought if it's outside, if I'm talking about the outside at this time, well, which I'm probably going to. What, which I am going to talk about the outside. The darkness is turning off and on. Scattered. Very scattered um, chance of rain in the Johnson area. So, yeah. Yeah. Duh. Okay. This is going to be a very slim view on the side. Looks like it's. No, I think it's on that side. Okay, I need to look for myself. If I unplug this. Sorry, man. I need some more room. This fucking hell, this rig. Like, I love building PCs and all, but holy God. Space has to be that stupid tiny. Okay. Now it's ready to... Ah, my knee. Now it's ready to power on. But of course, um, we're gonna verify our connection very quick. It's uh doing some more cable management, which I should have done because that looks, yeah, kind of picky with that actually, because it is supposed to go behind these wires. Which I'm gonna go ahead and unplug those, loop it back around, cause I am that fucking picky. Okay? There. Loop. All right, see this? Looping around, just like that. And this is proper cable management right here. Da, 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 da. Okay. Cool. Very cool, very cool. Now that's cable management right there, ladies and gentlemen. We got it. And the verify on the raid card. Damn, this fucking camera keeps on dropping. <laughs> Don't fucking do that. <laughs> and the verify on the raid card. It's just sitting there. Hoping it can work on that type of PCI slot. Which, come to think of it real quick. 
I'm going to generate some more room. We're going to go ahead and just probably move the slack, which I don't know how much of a improvement that would be, but we'll try. Probably have to use my left hand. There. Because I have three extra SATA ports now. Which it's funny because I usually don't have that much SATA power. I have the maximum of four SATA hard drives. Yeah. Technically, I got three. Because one of them is an optical drive. Because look, now I got three. One, two, and now three. This guy is just hanging out off the floppy drive bay. Wow. Even though there's like supposedly another optical drive that's supposed to go here. But then all of a sudden, there is no other opt op optical drive I can find other than that one on my old computer. Yeah, this computer is old. Older than this one, actually. To be quite fair, though. Before we do indeed go on here, just to go ahead and show you real quick. This is my main um, SSD right here. Which I have almost the intention of breaking every time. Because this right here is the boot SSD. One terabyte. Western and digital. <laughs> SSD. Which, ironically, I have another Western... Uh, excuse me. Western, I'm not Western. I'm, I'm a digital SSD, which is, which is like I said, on, on my laptop. And this is the big behemoth. Still in very good condition. Which I thought every time it went up to 100% usage. I usually shit my pants and think, oh, this drive's going bad. But it's not actually. It still has some pretty good data on there. And to be quite fair, this is the only good hard drive I have. Just, just to go ahead and show you. I'm a pretty quick of what I do indeed have. So, yeah, of course, this is a, uh, is this a 5400 RPM hard drive? Nah, it can't be. It's 7200 RPM. It's modern. It's supposed to go that fast. I mean, it's a Seagate Barracuda. Like, what the? Ah, this is why I roll with these. Yes, pure speed, rather than these. But these are more beneficial, according to my one friend. All right, in order to see the results on the screen, we might as well just plug in, plug back in the hard drives and just let them into their actual drive bays like this. Shit. Actual hard drive first. I don't have any SSD mounters. So, yeah. Uh, it's crooked. I don't like this crooked. And this is why I don't like that crooked. It's so hard to get out. Yeah. That's so crooked, guys. Yeah, I legit can't get this out. I might have to pry this damn thing out just to get it. Hold on, I'm using both my hands. Ugh. Oh, thank the Lord. There we go. That's That's better. Holy crap, that's better. All right, now the SSD <laughs> just slides, just slides on top. Oh boy, damn SSD, damn SSD just like slides on the fucking top. All right, uh, 
where the hell is... Alright, uh... Where is Zeta Zero? That... Yeah, um... Just to give you guys, like, a bit of a heads up here. Zeta Zero is supposedly for the boot drive. Zeta 1 and Zeta 2, accordingly to this build right here, is for extra hard drives. Zeta 3 is sorted off, like said, so that means I have to use a RAID card to actually read data off the other disk by posing as an as a internal. Which that's what I'm gonna which that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do in today's video, just for the sake of I of I don't know. I'm bored and a tweaker. I love the tweak. So if you guys um, like watching a tweaker, this is probably a, this is probably a good channel for you because I ever since I was in high school, guys, there was a game that my uh, teacher got me in, and it and it wasn't and it wasn't a computer class too. It's called PC Building Simulator. That got me into the mood of building PCs. And yeah, I actually do want to build a PC myself. Okay, what is this cable? Oh, this, yeah, this damn cable's clamped. All right. Okay, now we clamped it on. And we're gonna loop this guy around. Loop this guy around. Oh shit. Just gonna go ahead and, oh. Okay, now I'm very picky with cable management, guys. Wait, there's dust up in there now. What the fuck? Yeah, I need some compressed air. I need to clean out this PC in probably about a month if I had to get paid off of my mom. Oh, wait, did I say that? Fuck. Oh, well, uh, cat's out of the bag, I guess. <laughs> All right. Uh, with that aside, it feels like I'm going to, it feels like I am ready to power this on. I mean, I re, uh, I, I did redo cable management compared to, from now to earlier so um yeah that's pretty much it because all i pretty much did was add in like an extra hard drive and i was waiting that patiently i mean because for one i was at i was rendering something onto the big behemoth and the other thing here guys is pretty much um you would know out of that point that I tweak with shit. I tweak with a lot of shit too. In my days of free time. So, we're gonna go ahead and put this case back on. Which, uh, after I get this lined up here, I'm gonna I'm I'm pretty quick. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to put these types of cases back on. It's even working with my mom's computer and my old PC right there. So, you find yourself with this, right? You gotta, like, I'm gonna put your case panel on just like this, huh? And then you push until it clicks. To take it off, you do the opposite way. Just, just pull. Because that's what I did, just pull, and then the case just comes off. All right, and then where does the power cable? I found it. Got my crippled headset's over it. I mean, how how can I tell that this is crippled? That's why. But hey, at least the mic works on it, right? So if I ever wanted to go ahead and do this. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, it's powered on, well, or plugged in, as I would say, all right, power it on, 
we should see something on the screen. Like the BIOS, there it is. We should probably see something else too. Like the RAID utility. Yeah, control S. And yeah, it does pick up the SSD right here. Samsung SSD A70 Evo. Which that is our only drive in there. So um, we're, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and press um, control E to exit. Cause that's the only hard drive we do have. And it's gonna boot the windows. All right, guys, um, I'm pretty much gonna switch to screen recording at this point from our phone, so yeah. All right, as you guys can pretty much see, um, after I go ahead and um, load up on um, task manager here, and uh, right here it is. We're gonna go to the performance tab right here. And as you can pretty much see as the E drive, our Samsung SSD 500 round gigabyte. Even though the type is HDD after all, as uh, you guys can um, pretty much see, like uh, right there for uh, some odd reason. So um, yeah, I'm a pre I'm a pretty much the mouse cursor isn't being captured too 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 much for some reason, cause uh, I'm using um, Chrome Remo um, Chrome Remo um, Chrome Remo desktop. So yeah, um, bear with me, guys. So pretty much um, well, what we're going to I'm um, pretty much use is um. A hard on um, disk. I'm a, I'm a performer. Call it um, crystal on um, disk mark. And what does that do? You may ask. Well, it pretty much um this utility right here. I'm a pretty much um does measure the the overall performance of your hard drive. So we're going to go ahead and. So we're going to go ahead and um and and um give this a a um test go here and see how um good this um hard drive can um pretty much um perform. I don't know why that's the actual, uh, I don't know why that's the other hard disk I got right here. That's the four ter that's the actual four ter terabyte. This is the E drive right here. My, apol my apologies guys, um, we're gonna restart. And um, yeah, we are seeing some pretty okay results so far. The rate speed is going up. The read speed is exceeding a hundred megabits per second right now, which that is pretty good on your typical salt state drive. Even though there is going, there was like a lot of down spikes too, accordingly to its uh, filtering in uh, some way or and or another. And the top um, result here is their overall is the overall of a performance. So on the RAID card, it is pulling off a so, a, a about one hundred megabits per second read, and about a solid sixty five megabits per second write. That's pretty good for and for an SSD. That's right on the RAID card. 
Now for the C drive, however, which it's the boot drive I currently have, we're gonna see how it compares. As you can see, the rate speed is faster. So yeah, it's a, so yeah, as you can pretty much see here, guys, the the other SSD, which is the Western um, Digital um, SSD, is twice as more faster because it's on the actual is on the actual SATA bus on the motherboard, giving it the full arm performance it needs. And yes, I would do indeed guess that I will have to go ahead and um, do the um, speed test on the big behemoth, the F drive. So I am going to um, do this after I see the results. And as you can see right here, guys, the the boot SSD or the main SSD is 148.91 megabits per second read and even more write. So that is faster than the external SSD that is not on USB because you would pretty much have to tell a USB 3.0 a device on USB 2.0 yeah, it'll croak. So, just for jiggles, guys, we're going to go ahead and um, pull off the... We're going to do the big gum behemoth next. See how fast this is going to go. Alrighty, it's going over um, 200. On task manager as you can see on the graph for read speeds however guys it is ironically faster for it being a uh, freaking 7200 rpm a mechanical disk build for desktops only so yeah this hard drive I'm testing so far can handle up to about a solid 200 megabits per second read and I don't know how much it's going to fare in the right so far it's pretty much the uh, same unless if it can go up to like around 200 that would be nice It ain't even close to 200. So it does conclude that all hard drives I do have. Yeah. That was it. So that right there, guys, can I'm a pretty much chill out of this point. So to be quite Hey, I'm going to I'm gonna put some games on that hard drive to see how, to to uh see how I'm um, good it can, uh, to see how good it can hold up. Like uh, which some games am I going to I'm gonna put on there? Oh, it's kind of obvious. Uh, probably Grand Theft Auto Five. Either that or it's GTA Four, but. I would personally go for GTA 5. But you would know that sometimes games like games like this can take a long time. And I mean a long time. Cause give me a second. As you can see by the current, it's gonna take about an entire day. Just go ahead and I'm download. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and just like switch on the par on the priorities and make rec room up and make rec room update. Go away notification. Actually, all notifications can actually go on do not disturb for a solid hour. And with the patching, that's all on the disc, as you can tell. So, that's what it's going to do. And then, we're going to uninstall un that. We're going to go ahead and open our hand and file file. Like we're going to go ahead and open this up. We're going to go ahead and I'm check to uh, see if there's anything um, updated. And apparently, all the um, data here is just the uh, same. So we're going to go ahead and, and um, format this. Yeah, cause, yeah, cause uh, why not? Gaming SSD. Start. This drive is already in use. No shit. All right, guys, brief pause real quick. I would, I would like to apologize for the last 15 people that I have DM'd on my Discord. Because <laughs> uh, of this one, because of this message right here that a friend of mine sent. It's just, it just low-key looks promising. Okay, it's just, <laughs> um, okay then, um, so, um, yeah, but then we can go ahead and I'm um, pretty much um, conclude that this has read, read and write speeds at the decency. So, to wrap this up, I'm, I'm going to try and put GTA 5 on this. I think this is it. Six hours and 52. All right. This is a stupidish idea, but time to wait. Holy crap. Any line there, man. It's all internet um, uh, dependable at this point. So, yeah, guys, um, I think this will be it for today's video. I really hope you guys do in. I really hope you guys do in, um, do and enjoy this video. So, um, yeah, um, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.